for CS Magoha to make another statement and take back all the things that he said, give a new directive to head teachers in especially boarding schools, because they're the ones who are given directives to discriminate against LGBTQ children, to give a new directive saying kids have rights to stay in school, whether you suspect them, whether they've come out, let them be in school, provide security and let them learn. Another thing is vigil attending matches for women, for boys, for girls, for everyone in this community. But when it comes to LGBTQ people, we had to show up for ourselves because the community side lined itself. But you know even what? I don't have a child in school. I, I could have sat at home and said, I don't have a child, let me sit at home. But my pain is, as a child, I went through that abuse. And many people who are parents now went through this similar kind of abuse. But they're okay with saying homophobia is a crime in Kenya. So if your child is killed, what will you do about that? Yeah. As a queer community, mm -hmm. what do you intend? Oh, yeah, so, mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> my name is Aya, uh, JP Karija. And yeah, today I'm here with my friends, family, and yeah, colleagues. No, not colleagues, just friends and family and community. And the thing is, uh, you asked for my opinion on the issue. But what I think this should not just be about as queer folk. It should not be about me as a trans person. It should not be about everyone who is a lesbian. It should be about society deciding what kind of education they want for their kids. Because queer kids, they have, they have attraction, they have emotions, and they are growing up. They are kids. The, the thing we should not leave out is their children. And they need, they need a comprehensive sexual education. They need, they need to go through school and start, you know, laying a foundation for career. And then we have the person who's responsible for them. The, the CS, I'm a minister. In my days, we used to call them ministers. And this person says, this group of children should be left out of education. His responsibility extends to every each one of them, trans children less than children, bisexual children because they need to grow into themselves, they need to get those skills they need on the one hand we can't say you know, education is free and should be accessible to all and then on the other hand say oh you know it's free and accessible to all but if you yeah, people have been there since forever since yeah. I don't believe in education but since time immemorial it has been time I think what we need to stop as a country as a continent as a, as the globe is we have to stop making it okay to oppress people we are used today they are oppressing LGBTIQ people in a room full of people who have who don't have don't live with any disability the person who, is, who will be oppressed is a person living with disability in a room full of men and women Men, because of patriarchy, will oppress women because women don't have women are seen as second-class citizens. We have to to re, to decolonize our minds from the concept of oppressing people just because they're different. People are different, so what? So are my five fingers. None of the fingers oppresses the other. They all coexist. If one ceases to exist, I don't have a hand. That's how a society is built. A society has queer people. A society has gay people, lesbians, transgender people bisexual people. On what kind of education do they want for their kids? That education should include a comprehensive sexual education. That education should include teaching their children about life. Like all the things society is promising, it's not giving them, it's not gonna give them the jobs they promised when they clear school. So the same society owes these kids to know this is how to navigate through life. We should have proper life studies that tell people this is, this is what life is. And the minister, instead of doing that, is just looking for a scapegoat. Because if we go to the original issue, he was talking about strikes. Yeah, that's true, yeah. For one year, he's put kids through school with only 20 days, less than 20 days of a holiday. That's pressure, that's not, no teenager is supposed to go through that kind of pressure.